My name is Erin Bradley. I am a Gauteng Department of Education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. Brian Evan Primary School is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa, and we've been using Purple Mash for about a year and a half. Right, give it a name, an appropriate name, a function variable, call it reset ball, or something like that. It can't be called my function one. My function one says nothing. It is not self-explanatory. So you need to give it a meaningful name. Right, name it. What are you going to do with this function? You're going to reset the position of the ball and the speed. So call it reset ball or something like that. The name of the function must tell you what it does. Use a capital letter. Capital letter, reset ball in capitals. Come on, name it properly. That's it. Capital R. The word ball also in a capital letter. Capital letter. Good. And ball. Spell the word ball in there. Lower case. Right. You have named your function appropriately. You need to bring in the football, X position, and the Y position, the speed. You do that. I know you can do it. It says create a function to reset the ball and the speed and its position. Now, how do you create a function? Look at your computer. This needs to be put at the top to create a variable function. Good. Now make it a function. Name that function reset ball with a capital R. Reset ball function. And what is the reset ball function going to do? It's going to put the ball at X, 3, Y, 8, and type the word ball capital. Simokelo. Bring in the football. Bring it into the function. Bring football into there. Good. X, you're going to make X. The X position must be set to 3. And then I want you to find the Y position and the ball set to 0. You did it quite well. You helped Simokelo. Right, Simokelo, I'll have a look at what you've done in a minute. I want you to do it properly. Challenge, when the ball hits the goal, play a sound. Now let's see if you've done that. You've got when the football collides with the walls. That's good. I want when the football, a collision detection event, when the football hits the goal. Excellent. Football collides with goal. Clever, Catherine. Bring the goals, set the goals up to plus one. So it must add one. Because every time they score a goal, it must be score goes up by one. Good. Excellent. But now... When a goal is scored, the ball goes to the middle of the field for a kickoff again. The kickoff starts again. So you're going to have to call within this code, football collides with goal. Within the football collides with goal code, you're going to have to recall or you're going to have to call reset ball. So bring in the reset ball. Look over here. This will go in there. That bit of code's going to go into the football collides with goal block. Excellent. Catherine, the reset ball calling code will come after the goal is added. Just set that. Good. Bring in the goal. Add one above it. Well done. So when a goal is scored, you're calling the reset ball code again. The function. You're calling that function. Good work, Catherine. Carefully. It says now you've set the, the friction. So, Ray, you haven't set the friction. The friction must be, this block, look at your computer, must be right at the top. Because remember, the friction is set. It mustn't be part of the wind swipe football code. The declaration of the friction right at the top. Move that block of code. Excellent. Right to the top. Good. Now, when you press play, the friction is set to 1. Re look, Soraya says, set the speed and angle of the ball to the speed of the swipe. 
And you've said that the ball must only go in the right direction. That's not right. It must go at the speed and angle of the swipe. So click over here on the right. Good. And it must go in any direction that the swipe is going to be. Here it says football speed must be set to the speed of the swipe. How fast your finger moves across the screen. You've got to set it to the speed of the swipe. If my finger moves fast over the tablet, then the ball goes fast. If I want the ball to go slower, I would move my finger across the screen slower. It says swipe speed. Look carefully and choose. That's it. Good girl. You've got it. Well done. And now you've got to set the angles. So look over here. It says the angle. That can't be fine. It's got to be the angle of the swipe. So click on the 5 and change it to the swipe angle. The angle, whichever direction your finger moves over the ball, that's the direction the ball must take. So click on it, my girl. Don't be hesitant. Don't be scared. Just go on it. Yes. Good. Now play your code and let's see how it works. Now remember, you've got to swipe that ball. If you go like this, look, you go like that and you move. The ball moves. Now don't just hush, rush to go to the next challenge. Make sure that you understand your code. So read it again. Football friction is one. What would happen if we change that to three? What would happen? Go on the ball now. Let's see if it goes slower. See, the ball goes, slows down quicker. The friction speed is higher, so the ball slows down. Holding the ball back from its movement. That's called friction. Please, Soraya, show this to your science teacher. Who is your science teacher? Mr. Govender is an amazing science teacher, but please show him Purple Mash. Record yours now. You've got, it says, create a function to reset the ball. Well done. You've declared your function, so you've used what's called good coding practice. A, a real champion coder would say, well, this guy knows a little bit. So that's good. And then you've got when the ball hits the wall over here. Look at this block. You must call that function. So bring in this change variable into there. Okay, so bring in change variable. It must be part of this block. Part of that block. Of that block over there. Change variable must be there. Take this. What's the name of your function? Reset ball. So, if you click on the variable name, click on it. Yeah, look, I'm showing you. Reset ball. And we're calling that code. Brilliant. So, when the ball hits, it's going to call this function. Now, the ball is X is 3. The position on the X axis. Now, must move football. This code must be part of the function. So, you need to bring that as part of this. Part of the function. Good, Braden. I think you got it. Good, you can bring it there as well. And now it says you've also got to set the speed. So bring in football as part of the function. The speed must be zero. Brayden, you're not listening to me. The speed must be in the function. So it must be up here. In the function, reset ball. So the speed must be set to zero. And it must be there. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, set it to zero. Good work. And now... And as soon as the ball hits the wall, it's going to call the function. Brayden, I think you can delete this. Football X to 4. Just delete block at the bottom. Right, play your code. It looks right to me. Go for it. Let's see, when it hits the wall, ball repositions to its original position. You've got it to 3 and 3. You know why it's, saying not, it's not saying next challenge? The X was 3. The Y was 8. If you looked at the original position, it was Y should be 8. But other than that, your code is brilliant. And well done on creating a good name for your variable, declaring your variable first. Any good coder would say, this guy knows a little bit. When the ball hits the goal, play a sound. Excellent. Your coding is quite good. Eh? So you've got, when the football hits the goal, it makes a sound one time. Goals, you said add 7815. Every time you score a goal in soccer, it's one point. So you can't add 7,815. You probably did that just to experiment, which is pretty good. What Michaela's doing when she experiments with big numbers is a good thing.
When you do coding, please be a real computer scientist. It means you experiment, experiment and play around a little bit. So that's quite good. Just change that to one, that big number. Michaela, you've done a marvelous job, but remember your function. Type in number one, like there. Just select it and type one on your keyboard. Because you don't want to really go down all those numbers. Just type one. All right, now, Michaela, the variable that you, you made it a number variable. Remember, we're going to call a function. Call the function to reset the ball. This mustn't be a number variable. The type must be a function type. So go to function. Brilliant. Good work, Michaela. Go to the function and choose the function type. So the variable that you're making is a function. Good. All right. Now we don't need that equals four. What do we do in this function? We're going to set the ball speed to, come on, you're going to set the speed to zero. Because remember, you're setting the speed of the ball to zero. And the X and Y position, you're going to have to fix that up. So you're going to have to bring in the football to X and Y position. And remember, my goal, that you're going to have to Bring this to be part of the function. I don't know why it's not going working properly. Let's just create variable here. This should be part of that function. Okay, see if you can fix that. And I'll come and have a look in a second of what you've done.